What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. Today we're going to do a build on something very different. This is a robot that I thought was kind of obsolete. I didn't think it was good anymore. Turns out this thing is amazing. So Leech with the Mace Weapons is tearing it up on the battlefield. I'm going to show you this build. You guys are going to love this thing. If you got an old Leech, I'm going to tell you what. Get this thing out, throw a set of these weapons on it and a set of these modules. I find two repair amplifiers, a last stand, and an advanced repair is the way to go for this guy. Now when it comes to the drone, Nebula is the way to go. Two on repair unit defense chips, one on mild damage absorber, and on the first chip, the circle slot, you can run control resistor, freezer, lockdown, or whatever you want. I kind of like the control resistor so I don't get locked down as quickly. Now when it comes to the pilot skills, I'm going to show you that after the battle. We'll show you the pilot skills after the battle. So I'm going to play the first couple with the current skills, and then on the last game, I'm going to add that new pilot skill that allows you to get extra speed, and I can guarantee you that's gonna be insane speed it's gonna move like you won't believe okay so let's go run right to the center beacon we want to get that center guys and leech is gr a great center support what we're gonna try and do is back up our beacon runner we got grady white over there he's going right into the beacon and i'm gonna go ahead and just hit my ability we're gonna leech onto this guy and we're going to try and help him get this center beacon and take out this nasty Kepri. He's got to go down, boys. He's got to go down. Let's smash him and bash him and uh, grab this beacon. Hopefully no one... Oh, crap. Here comes more of the enemy team, and I got eight seconds till I can use my ability again. But we got to get this beacon, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of kind of do my thing. You know, if they damage me, if they kill me, they kill me. Leech is a little bit squishy, but he's tough as well i don't know how to explain it he's squishy and tough at the same time does that make any sense i know it doesn't but that's kind of how this little dude works honestly all right so let's go ahead and uh sm oh nope nope purple shield run away run away run away run away we got five seconds till we can attach to somebody now your best bet is to wait till you actually start taking damage don't attach to somebody till they start shooting you that's always a good rule of thumb for this one is you know when they start t shooting that's when you attach because if they're not shooting you you're not going to be able to damage them when they shoot you if you know what i'm saying did that make any sense i sure hope it did because i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just over here playing some games and talking about something i don't know what's happening guys i don't know what's going on but the red dudes gotta d -d 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 die that's all i can tell you so we need to get these beacons like currently we are almost out of beacons and that's not a good thing we need to make sure we go over there and steal these things and get them away from the enemies. Um, I don't think I can... Oh my gosh, they're all over here. Somehow they haven't killed me yet. It's a miracle. I'm a squishy leech. But like I said, man, it's not really that squishy anymore. I mean, back in the day, the, as soon as the leech lost his ability, he was a dead man. I'm telling you, it's got to be the nuclear amplifiers. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's the nuclear amplifiers causing this to happen. And I'll tell you what. If that's the case, I'm a big fan of these things. All right, so we got that guy. We got him smushed him. We're holding our beacon, but unfortunately, it looks like the other team's got way more beacons. Hey, you win some, you lose some. You know what I mean? You can't win all the games. If, if you do, you're probably cheating, right? But yeah, let's go ahead and come out this way and try and get rid of this behemoth. I want to smash this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Four seconds till I can attach to him and then womp on his face. So yeah, guys, Leech is not a bad robot. I mean, if you got a Leech, I would almost even suggest building one of these. I mean, I don't like to show you guys builds or robots that I think are junk. I'm not going to tell you it's good if I don't think it's good, okay? I know I got the Scarab Leech. At least the Scarab Leech is doing awesome. I can't, I can't tell you what the regular Leech is like or frozen leech but i know my scarab leech is just kicking some major butt right now all right they got me so let's go ahead and drop mr 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 we're gonna drop our mr guy thingy robot dude Mm-hmm. right in here and go to the center mr grady white and we got mr hunker down rolling into the beacon so let's go grab it We'll smash them and bash them. We'll attach to somebody since they're shooting me. That way, hey, when they... Oh, he's like, nope, not shooting the leech. He was very smart. 
Because as you know, anytime you're attached to somebody and the enemy shoots you, it damages whoever you're attached to and whomps on their face and beats them up really good. So let's go ahead and just support our teammates right here. We just want to be support, right? We are a support bot. But somehow I find we're still able to brawl. I think we need some help over here on this beacon. So I'm going to run over here and help him. I think he's in the bad spot. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. We got four shotguns. I mean, we got brutal, big, nasty damage up close. I really do think shotguns are probably the best type of weapons you're going to get for the leech, honestly. I don't think I would run much of anything else. I tried fainters on here. I tried a few other things, but I'm just digging the shotguns. Shotgun leech is amazing. Um, Sonic weapons too. I mean, Sonics are great. Those are the only other things I would probably run, but I notice if I'm lagging just a little bit, it's really hard to hit somebody with the Sonics. And I don't really have that problem with this particular uh, setup. These shotguns don't seem to give me those problems like the, the Sonics do. When I'm lagging a little bit, I am good. But look at this mess here in the center. So we're, we're attached to these guys. Hopefully they're shooting me so I can beat them up. I don't know. But uh, I, I'm amazed I'm still alive. I mean, that last stand really saved. But, oh, they blew me up. They blew me up. Okay, so we're dropping in on the aircraft carrier map. And that's not really my favorite map. I don't really like this one, guys. You might like this one, but I'm not a big fan of the aircraft carrier. Not at all. Kind of hate it, to tell you the truth. But let's go over here and grab these beacons. So I actually just changed out a pilot skill. I put the new pilot skill on there that gives you extra speed when you use your ability. And this thing is now fast, guys. This thing is fast. I don't know why I didn't have that one on there before, but yeah. So this will be a really cool deal because, man, he's moving. All right. So let's go ahead and attach to somebody as soon as they start shooting at me. All right. We attach. Look at our speed. Look at our speed. That's nuts. It's crazy. It's super nutso, and they locked me down. My little leech is like, whoa, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And he's, he's freaking out because he's got all that speed, and now he can't use it. But yeah, the lockdowns and the gravity amplifiers and stuff are getting crazy. But yeah, I mean, look at this. The dude's taking all kinds of fire. He hasn't died yet. I mean, we're, we're not getting a lot of kills today. I, I wish I would have been recording some of these battles I did yesterday because, my gosh, I had some amazing battles where I was just beating the heck out of everybody with this thing yesterday. So we're low on health. All we got are two little things left. And, my gosh, my gosh, it's crazy. It is crazy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to do our best, right? We're going to try and play very cautiously at this point. If we don't attach to somebody, we try to probably want to try to stay out of the battle. That way we don't get too beat up because, I mean, we got almost no health left, right? We got two weapons, no health. We're in bad shape, but we're going to make the best out of it. Sometimes you take a bad situation and you do the best you can. Hey, that's how we got to do it in this game, right? So let's go ahead and move up over this way. Mr. Big Lows. Big Lows? What is a Big Lows? All right, Mr. Big Lows. Oh my gosh, that speed's got me messed up. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try and stomp on these guys here and see what we can do. Boom, smash, boom, ba boom, smash. Me and that green got through you in the trash. Ba ba boom, smash, boom ba boom, smash. All right, Carlos, look at that speed. That is sick. That is sick. All right, I, I don't know. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, they took me down. But that was fun. That was a lot of fun, nonetheless. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and check out the pilot skills first. We got Adamant Guardian. We got Roadhog, we got Mechanic, we got Engine Expert, which is the new one. I did have the 5% the extra damage, the Gunsmith, but I changed it out on the last battle for the Engine Expert. And I'm going to tell you what, that was an awesome trade. We got Armor Expert, we got Dodger, and we got Module Expert. And for me, this build just worked out amazing. It's a lot of fun to play. It's actually really good. It's doing very well. If you know when to time the abilities and stuff like that, the Leech can be great.
So this build really does make the leech amazing, but I think that wraps this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching the videos and hanging out on the live streams and stuff like that. Don't forget to check out one of these videos that's about to pop up on the screen. If you really want to help support the channel, there's a merch store down below the video or a bunch of cool links and stuff in the video's description. You can check out the thank you button or the join button down down below the video and all that good stuff and we will catch you next time all right you guys are awesome catch you later lightning out see ya